Hey guys, welcome to shoulder blade or scapular cars. We are gonna do these in a few different positions because as far as our brains are concerned, they are completely different movements, even though when you're thinking about them, they feel the same. So we're gonna show you cars at your sides, moving your shoulder blades around. We're gonna show you with your arms here, and we're gonna show you on your hands and knees. These are by no means the only positions, but they are going to at least cover your bases for the foundation for moving your shoulder blades. So shoulder blades are very, very important for our shoulder. They are kind of the anchor, so they need to go everywhere. When you are moving these, I want you to think about the shoulder blade back there kind of wrapping around your rib cage. That's the movement I want you to think about. Ignore the shoulders. They are just coming, or the arms here, they're coming along for the ride. So Erin is gonna start again, feet shoulder width apart. She is going to make sure her rib cage and pelvis are stacked over each other. So go ahead and tuck your belt buckle just a tad right there. She's going to keep her head and neck long. So spine is long, chin is back just a tad. Good, so everything is in a good spot and nothing else is moving except the shoulders. So you're gonna keep your hands by your sides. We're gonna create some tension by making some fists here. So go ahead and squeeze your muscles. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is have her move her shoulder blades forward. So you're gonna protract as far as you can. When you can no longer move forward, I want you to bring up towards your ears. Good, as far as you can, squeeze up to your ears, keep them high, and we're gonna bring them back. Squeeze them back as far as you can. From here, we're going to push down towards your pockets while they stay squeezed. Then from there, we are going to keep them down and push forwards, wrap them around, relax these arms, make sure it's the shoulder blades good. One more repetition, forwards and up. Good, up and back. Back and down, fight for a little more range of motion. Good, down and forwards, forwards and up. And go ahead and relax there. So. Those were one direction. We are now going to repeat it in the opposite direction. What I do want you to think about when you do these is not lifting the rib cage when you retract or pull those shoulder blades back. We'll show that in a separate position. So she's going to shift that way. So face the wall for me there. So we're gonna show you in a different position. Same exact thing. Now we are going the opposite direction. Different position so you guys can kind of see the difference between those. So again, shoulder width apart. Make sure the rib cage, tuck it a little bit, good. Neck long, nice. So we're gonna start here going back. So go ahead and squeeze back as far as you can, making sure that this rib cage is not popping up like so. While they're squeezed back as far as you can, bring them up. Good, while they're up, bring them forward. Forward and down, down and back, back and up. Up a little higher, good, and forwards. Good, and down, 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 really far down, good. Now squeeze down and back. These are gonna be hard here, good. And one more time, up, up and forwards. And go ahead and relax here. So every round, you're just trying to get a little more range of motion. There shouldn't be a lot of pinching here, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about that. And that is this position. Now we're going to go into arms at 90 degrees. So go ahead and turn back towards the camera for me, Erin, good. Arms are gonna be forwards now and we're gonna make fists because we like to create tension. The more tension, the more our brain lights up and pays attention to what we're doing. So, feet shoulder width apart, belt buckle and rib cage tuck towards each other just a little bit, good. Same exact movements, nothing else moves but the shoulder blades. So let's start with forwards. While we're forwards, bring them up. While they're up, we're going to squeeze back. While they are squeezed back, pull them down towards your pockets without that rib cage coming up, good. While they're down, we are pushing forwards now. Forward, 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 good. While they're forward, bring them back up. Another round, a little bit more than last time, good. Back and down, down and forwards, forwards and up. And we are going to reverse. So the opposite direction, we are going to turn that way. So you can relax first, we'll reposition. Same thing like we did last time. We're just showing a different position for you guys to get a different idea of the movements. We're going in the opposite direction now that she's faced this way. So start here, tuck your belt buckle, reposition always. Long neck, good. Create some tension in your belly and we are gonna squeeze back first. Good, while they're back, we are gonna go down. While they're down, we are gonna go forwards. While they're forwards, we are going to come up. Up, 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 good. While they're up, we're gonna squeeze back. Back and down, 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 good. Down and forwards, reach forward a little bit more. I know, you, there you go, good. Don't cheat yourself of any of that range of motion. Forwards and up, 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 good, back. Back and down, and go ahead and rest here. 
So we just did two forwards, two backwards, just showed you in two different positions. The third position is going to be in what's called a closed chain movement. Closed chain means your body is moving over a fixed point. So this is important for things like push-ups. We're gonna go on hands and knees. So you can go ahead and face the camera here, come down onto your hands and knees on the turf. So you're going to think about the same uh, you're right, we're gonna go sideways. Let's turn sideways, I'm sorry. This one's a lot easier to see in this position. So we are going to think about the same movements, but it's gonna be completely different. This one is a struggle at first to get to know, so don't worry about it if, it, if you struggle at first. Knees should be um, right under your hips. Come up on your toes here for good support there. Good, I want you to push your chest up and keep a little drop down here. Yes, a little neutral. We don't wanna be overextended, not over tucked. Good, and long through here, chin stays up, up a little higher, come up here, good. Chest up a little bit, good. Now, from here, she is going to just squeeze her shoulder blades together. So the, the spine's gonna drop, she's gonna squeeze them, good. While they're squeezed, we're gonna bring them up towards her ears, good. And then from there, she's gonna push those shoulder blades apart, so her spine's gonna lift up towards the ceiling. So push them apart, come up towards my hand. Yes, push more, push the ground away from you. More, 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 more. Good, then we're gonna pull them down towards your pockets. Yes, and then while they're down towards your pockets, we're going to squeeze them together. Keep them squeeze, squeeze, go squeeze good. You're dropping your spine as you're squeezing those shoulder blades. Then we're gonna go back up towards your, sh your ears, good, and then push them apart. Chest comes up, push the ground away a little bit. There we go, and down, and squeeze them, and up towards your ears and we're going to reverse opposite direction. Keep them squeezed and down towards your pockets. Push them away, push them forward around your rib cage. Wrap them, wrap them, wrap them, wrap them, good. And then we're gonna go up. While they're up, we're gonna squeeze them. While they're squeezed, we're gonna bring down towards the pockets, a little bit more than last time, and then push them forward, so that's towards the, towards the turf, good. More, more, more. Wrap them around your rib cage. Last time, all the way up while they're forward and squeeze, 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 squeeze. Keep that head up and relax here. So a couple things to keep in mind when you're doing these. Watch for your spine movement. As she was doing the squeezing, her head kind of came down a little bit. It's gonna happen at first. I recommend recording yourself, pay attention to your movement. We are asking for only shoulder blades to move. The more you pay attention to that, the more it'll translate into every other movement you do. We want just shoulder blades when we're doing shoulder blade cars. So make sure that you are doing a circle that is as big as you can, but as big as possible from only the shoulder blades. Not from your neck, not from your back moving. It will take some time, but you'll get the hang of it. So that's shoulder blade cars.